All right, well, let's see how this audio goes, guys. I am waiting here to be loaded, and while I'm waiting here to be loaded, I decided that I was going to make a quick little video about my dash cam camera system. Um, just disclosure, it's originally meant for a car, so I had to MacGyver it, but how I have it set up, it works really well. So let me, get, let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so here's what I want to show you guys right here. Sorry the camera's a little shaky, but I have the Rexing mirror dash cam right here. So that's what I want to show you. Right, as you can see, I have it hooked up right next to, let me turn this down for y'all. I have it hooked up, the, the rear camera is hooked up right next to my left side um, by my, uh, like on the back of my cab, so that way I can see um, the cord. Since it's meant for a car, the cord's not very long. Um, so what I was able to do is run it under the cab right next to my inverter, and that's as far as I was able to really run it. But, you know, you can put it in different places. I chose to put it, like, right in this area, so that way when I'm backing up into my trailer or when I need to make turns, because I have a flatbed. And as you guys know, flatbeds kind of still goes be turned very differently. Um, so when I need to make those 45 degree turns, I can be able to see, I can also keep an eye on what's going on. You know, you can see on this little side, it's not much of a view, but I could see sometimes when people are passing me on my right side. But it's it's been very good for the most part. It comes with a little uh, GPS for your speed. So I have my GPS set up over there. Um, you know, it tells you the time, keeps all that monitored. Now, one thing I did notice, it's recording right now. The one thing I did notice, though, is that um, for my speeds, the GPS tends to have it off by a mile or two. So it's 65 miles per hour. You'll see it says 66 or 67, which may be problematic and maybe like a legal situation where you need to prove the speed you were going. Um, so, you know, here's the front view of that. It's very crisp, very clean. I'll let you guys see that a little up close. So it's hard to really show it on camera. Um, you know, you have different brightness settings that you could change it to. You can change the angle from here on the screen. It's a touch screen. And then on the back of the camera, you can also change the angle that way. You can also adjust and move it all sorts of ways. Uh, it's the same way for the rear side camera, the rear side camera, I can adjust if I want to just look at, you know, the my tires or the, uh, I forgot what they call this again, the fender, um, the quarter fender, or if I want to look all the way up at my trailer, like say, sorry, I screwed that up. Say I need to remember what my number is real quick. I could just go ahead and look at that, you know, getting certain angles. Um, so I'm going to go back to the menu, right? But before I do that, we have the, the uh, a few different settings here so obviously you see that's the camera back and forth uh, we have the microphone if you want it to constantly be on or if you want to turn that part off we also have the lock record so if like say you get into an accident or something happens in front of you that you want to lock that recording you just hit that button and it locks that image into a different file so it can't be automatically rewritten you have the camera button there so that way if you want to take like a quick shot of something, you know, um, I don't know, uh, say you see a car or something you like, you just hit the button and gets a little uh, quick shot of that on both sides of the camera. And then we have the video record button. So that's going to hit record and stop record anytime you want. And we have the back button here. Back button and home button does essentially the same things when it comes to the, the camera setting. When you go back here, you'll see you have dash cam, right? I'm going to let that kind of click in there. You got dash cam, so the minute you hit that, it's going to automatically start recording. Not always. Sometimes it works. You have smart drive. So what smart drive does is it lets you adjust uh, certain settings. So you have the um, the blind spot detection and kind of like an adaptive cruise monitor. So what that does is that's going to watch the front of your vehicle to make sure that you're staying center in your lane. Um, and you can adjust it how you want. And then the blind spot detection, like I said, this is all this is meant for uh, a car, so it's meant so that way when you're backing up 
before you go to make a turn it kind of shows you it'll show you like red on one side or the other if a car is coming up on you so that way you know not to hit them so that's that's a pretty cool feature i like that obviously file explorer that's where you go in to get all your files uh, you see it says f lock and r lock those are when you hit the button and it'll lock the files um, normally any videos you want to look for they're going to be in the video f or video r you go on you click it you watch what's going on. If you decide, you know, I need to save this footage right here, then you'll go back and then you'll hit lock or you could just delete it. You know, totally up to you. Now we're going to go into some of the other settings, camera settings. That just lets you adjust certain aspects you want on the camera, like frequency, uh, record resolution. Mine's is on uh, kind of like a, a 2K setting, um, you know, sensor, G sensor sensitivity. Uh, if you're going to get this for your truck, I advise you lower that or turn it off. Every time you hit a bump, it will go off and lock a recording, assuming that you've been hit or you got into an accident. Uh, you have the mute recording feature, rear mirror, timestamp, parking monitor, you know, all these cool things. Then you go into system settings, stream, um, media switch. I'm not exactly sure what that might mean. Uh, might assume that that means that's probably that setting where when you go to press record or you hit the camera, uh, the dash cam and automatically records. You have brightness settings, volume settings, screen sleep, key tone I turned off, you know, daylight saving time, speed units, you know, if you're from Canada or other countries. So it's it's, it's very cool for what it does. You see, hit dash cam, see now I'm like normally this is one of those cases where it hasn't started recording. Oh, there it is. Look at that, it just took some time. All right, for some reason I'm doing this part dose because the first time I attempted it, it just screwed up. But anywho, it's a great camera. I mean, like, it, it does a great job. There's a few, like, little downfalls and tidbits to it. Um, you know, one of the, like, I, you know, like I said, I have it where I have it specifically so that way I can see on that left side. As some of you truckers know, typically if you're going to get into an accident it's going to come from that left side or come from in front of you it's just always how it is people always want to speed around you on that left and so having that that angle as much as you can on that left to catch whatever it needs to is was my best decision and typically when you're backing up if you need to back up um that's the side that you want to see the most of especially on a camera um you know, I never, I don't very rarely blindside or I'm very rarely in the left lanes where I need it to be necessarily on the left side more. Um, and like I said, you can still see where it gets that little slight bit of that, that right side view. Um, so, uh, but I can say my, the cons of it is the fact that it runs on a micro SD card and there's no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi uh, connectivity. If you need image for like police officers or you know your job for some reason, um, you'll have to have a computer or have a device that can accept the micro SD card, so that way you can get that image off. Uh, one of the other things is light. The rear camera is a 780p camera, and it does It's very, it's not very good. Um, it's very light sensitive. If high beams or a car with very bright lights passes by, it will almost be blinding. If you're in a very dark truck at night, um, a lot of times you go past street lights, and it will just um, kind of keep flashing alongside. Uh, granted, you can turn the brightness for that, so that's not as big of a deal. Um, but the, so far, that's that's really been the only cons I've seen so far. It's a great camera. Um, it's done it's done its job for the most part, and I really love it. Even when I had it installed in my car, um, I loved it, you know, and everything that it did. So I don't know. You guys try it. The price of it's only about I think 149 right now. Again, this is the Rexing Dash Cam 2 um, or Miracam M2. Um, so make sure you guys look for that one. But it should be about. 140 150 dollars and for the price it's a really great dash cam for what it does both in your car and both in your truck so you know check it out and if you like it and you know you you think this was a great video and it helped you out you know comment down below like subscribe and you know thanks for watching